So basically what Wes just explained was a lot of field sharpening techniques. So those are good things to carry with you when you're actually going out camping and you can help repair your knives or keep them sharp when you're out. The stuff I have here is more for at home and after the trip or before the trip, making sure everything's as sharp as possible. Uh, first thing, this is a whetstone. Uh, benefit of these is you can get a whole bunch of different grits. This one is a 1,000, 6,000, so the blue side is 1,000 grit. If I flip it over, it's 6,000 grit. You can get these into the tens of thousands of grit, so you can actually have like mirror finish polishes. These work the same way. The only thing is you probably notice I had it soaking in water. You have to soak these, otherwise they'll get gummed up and they won't sharpen as well. Um, another benefit to these is if you start getting ridges, like you're sharpening something with serrated edges, you can take a piece of sandpaper, put it on something really flat, and grind it back flat again. Uh, this works the exact same way. Uh, so you pull towards you, it's a nice even flat surface for you to go. Whenever you finish with one grit, you flip over and you go to the next one. Uh, you can carry, you can get several of them to get however level sharpness you want. Um, they are expensive, but they do last a long time once you take care of them. The other thing is an electric sharpener. This is a work sharp. They come with different levels of grit and angle guide. This one has an angle guide. Uh, benefit to these is it's quick. You can get a knife sharpened in two or three minutes if you know what you're doing. Uh, Big disadvantage though is unless there's a platen, which this one has, mine doesn't, which right here it gives a flat edge for the belt to ride against, you'll actually start getting an apple seed edge, so it's kind of a convex edge, it's not a perfectly straight edge. And on a knife like a Mora, you can actually make it more dull and you'll never get to the same sharpness. But an apple seed edge is more, is more less brittle, I should say, because there's more metal behind it. Um, Another big disadvantage with these is you can easily destroy the temper on your blade. So with this, when you go through, you want to go real quick, one to like one to two seconds per pass. At any more, you can heat up the blade and you'll start noticing discoloration and you can lose the temper and the blade will never be sharp after that. One inch per second is what they recommend yep. when you're doing it. Don't go any um, slower. The other thing is I've experienced is don't let the tip come in towards the belt it's if you want a very sharp tip to your blade. Uh, these wet stones are what you get the sharp tip with. If you bring the belt in and there the tip into the belt, you'll actually start getting around the tip and you'll never get it back. Um, the last thing is this. This is for if you actually damage your knife or you don't like the edge, uh, the edge angle that's on it. This is a honing kit. The difference between honing and sharpening is this will eat through the material in your knife blade very quickly. So with this, easiest way to do this is you put these in so it's slightly about even gap and then you use this back one to prop onto the tip. You don't want to tighten down this front one too tight. And then with this, you can take an angle bar and you have fine, medium, coarse, and even leather or the ceramic that I need to glue back on, uh, depending on how damaged the knife is. You don't have a slight chip in it, you probably start with the medium or fine, but if you're wanting to get a completely different angle, which this has 17, 20, 25, and 30, if I wanted a super fine angle to it, and this is something that came with a, like a 25 degree, then I would start at coarse, which all you have to do is put the rod into the little hole, tighten it down, and then it follows that angle. And there's instructions that come with it depending on the type of knife and how far out you want the knife. And you just follow that guide, even number of passes on both sides, you just flip it over, same thing on both sides. Uh, but this is really only for repairing your knife. You can't use this for regular sharpening, otherwise you just won't have a knife back or knife left after a few months. And that's pretty much it. Um, probably the best thing, if you want to keep a very sharp knife, one of these, it's just you have to have lots of time. 